end of February. Now we have the same kind of thing that I could use this balance sheet, but it has a bunch of subtotals in it and whatnot. And it might be easier for our budget to exclude all of these subtotals. So it might actually be easier to once again, use the trial balance because it doesn't have all the subtotals. So if I go to the trial balance over here, I can run this, let's run it for the totals as my starting point. And now I just have my balance sheet on top of my income statement, the balance sheet being the assets, which are from cash down to the machinery and equipment. Those are mostly debits. And then we have the uh, liabilities and equity being the other side. We have the accounts payable, credits of the liability, and then we have the uh, the the liabilities down to the equity here. Here's where equity starts. And this is where it gets a little bit messy in that the income statement is part of equity. So there's a couple different, I don't really want the income statement. I would like to remove the income statement and have it just roll into owner's equity. But I could just squish all this all these numbers into one number as owner's equity. I could do this a couple different ways. Like I could start, for example, by just taking this up a, a year to 010125, 010125 and run it. So then now everything's been squished into equity, same numbers. But what if I had transactions in January of 2025? So let me just do it this way. I'm gonna say uh, 010124 to 0, uh, 2. 2924. Uh, and so there's our two months. I'm going to export this and then I'll just delete the income statement and roll the income statement into, into equity. I'll show you how to do that. It sounds complicated, but it's not difficult. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to say export this to Excel. Now I've already done the income statement in Excel over here. So we already have a worksheet open. So if you don't have a worksheet, then you, then you don't have to use that one, but I'm going to. So I'm going to enable the editing and I would like to move this over to the other worksheet where we already have the income statement budget stuff. So I'm going to right click on the trial balance here and I'm going to say copy or move. And then I'd like to put it over uh, in another in my other workbook, which is the budget workbook. And then I'll just say move it there, por favor, please, if you would. And then I'm going to grab it and drag it to the right. So the first two tabs are income statements. So I'll double click on them and I'll just say, let's say P and L for short, P and L one. And then this was the P and L worksheet, P and L worksheet or something like that. And this one's gonna be the balance sheet. We'll say one. Okay, so now I can just clean it up. I'm gonna hold control and scroll up and I'm just gonna clean this up to get, to get just to, all I want is just one line of numbers possibly having not debits and credits but rather assets being positive liabilities and equities being negative or in other words i'll represent the credits with negative numbers so i can put them in one column and prove that i'm in balance not by having two columns that match each other but rather by having to sum up the negatives and the positives debits positive credits negative and it'll map out to zero that's a little bit easier uh, to see because then I can then I can easily make my adjustments on one column instead of two columns. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, there's not really a whole, you could try to do this with an accounting equation format and not use debits and credits. But in, in my opinion, this area is where the debits and credits are gonna become more useful. And so it's a lot easier to do, I think. Although if you don't understand debits and credits, you'll still be able to see what I'm doing here pretty clearly, I believe. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to, I'm going to format the whole worksheet to be the normal format first. So I'm going to go to the home tab, paintbrush just to sell over here. And then I'm going to paintbrush the entire worksheet on the triangle. So that's my default formatting. Then I'm going to right click on it and format the cells to what I would like. So it's all uniform formatting to start out with. I'm going to go currency, negative numbers bracketed, I don't really need, I don't want the dollar sign and I don't need the decimals because it's a, it's a budget, right? So it's going to be rounded. So I'll say, okay. And then I'm going to make it all bold home tab font group bold. You don't have to make it bold yourself, but I think that shows up a little bit better possibly on a, on a screen recording. And then I'm just going to delete uh, all the stuff. So let's just delete from, uh, I don't need the header from row one to five. I'm selecting actually on the numbers, row one to five, 
right click delete and then I'm gonna scroll down and say, I don't need the totals down here. I'll, I'll go ahead and delete that. I'm, I'll be able to use my balancing concept, hopefully to figure out if I messed anything up. So I'm gonna delete this stuff. And then, and then I'm gonna go up and say, okay, now the credits, these are the credits. What I'd like to do is put them in here, but have them be negative. So the trick to do that, here's a little trick we can use. We can pull this. I'm going to take this whole column, or I could take the whole column this way. Like here's the column, right click, copy it. I'm going to paste it over here first, right click, pasting it special, but subtract. So it's going to subtract, nothing's in these cells. Therefore, it should just give me negative numbers, flipping the sign, boom, they're all negative. And then I'm going to copy that and put that back over here, right click and paste. I want to paste it just like one, two, three, because I don't want any any uh, format formulas. Notice that these still have these funny formulas, even though it's just a number. So I'm going to do the same thing over here just to get rid of those equal signs. I'm going to select the whole thing, right click and copy, and then right click and paste one, two, three. And now there's no equal signs. It's just what we call a hard coded number. I no longer need this cell, so it has served its purpose and now it will be deleted. <laughs> so I don't know why that's, we're gonna take it out because it served its purpose. You're gonna delete that. Okay, I'm trying to mess with my soundboard. Apologies for that. It's gonna be good once I get it. So I'm gonna pull this over. So now I can just drag these into the same column. It's easier to use this and then control X, which is the same as cutting, right click and cut. And then, oh, hold on a sec. Uh, control X and Control V, pasting. So I'm just going to do this all the way down. Control X, Control V, cut and paste. Control X, Control V, 